In June of 1831, sailors off the Italian coast noticed a strange movement of the ocean, what felt like earthquakes underwater. In the following days, fishermen reported the ocean becoming muddy, bubbling with the smell of sulfur and hundreds of dead fish floating to the surface. On July 10th, a ship reported a large column of water rising from the ocean, producing smoke and loud thundering sounds. And within a few days, it was clear that a new volcanic island was being born. Ships rushed in from all over Europe to check it out, for both scientific and political reasons. It's the 1830s, like prime time for imperialism in Europe, and this island is right in the middle of the Mediterranean, this really important choke point. So whoever controls it controls a lot of the trade throughout Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Naturally, Britain claimed it first, planting a flag on August 2nd. Italy followed, replacing that flag with their own, and France and Spain made their own territorial claims as well. In mid-August, the eruption in the Mediterranean ended, and after a few months of erosion, the island was gone. This actually wasn't the first time this had happened. 20 years earlier, Britain and Portugal had squabbled over a new volcanic island near the Azores, which also sank right back into the ocean. In 2000, volcanic activity was once again recorded off the Italian coast, and naturally, Italian divers out-Britained Britain by sticking a flag on the underwater summit. This is the second of five videos about volcanic islands, so I'll see you tomorrow.